that's a tough question. I think, well, you know, there's, and there's so many different kinds of ethics. There's like environmental ethics, there's competitive ethics, uh, all that kind of stuff. So I think from an environmental ethical standpoint, uh, I always try to not, um, try, try to not hurt the rock as much as you can, you know, because like, you know, gluing and chipping and stuff like that, for me, it's just crazy. But even just putting bolts in, you're changing the thing forever. And it's not just your rock, you know, it's like other people are gonna have to enjoy this thing and they, and they want to enjoy it. So like if you just waltz in and put a bolt ladder in, that's probably not too cool because other people are gonna go, dude, you know, it's like, there's a bolt every five feet. This is kind of ridiculous. Um, so I don't know, I think you should try to respect the rock that way. Uh, style, I guess that's probably mostly would refer to your style of ascent. Um, and um, I, I, you know, for me, I always try to do, I'd rather do something in good style than just fudge my way up it, you know. I'd rather leave it alone if I can't do it in a certain style and let somebody else do it, you know. But that's just my opinion. So. I mean, God, I can't even, some of the stuff that people climb now, I couldn't even imagine, you know, like, I remember I told Sharma about Mandala at the Buttermilks, and uh, I've, when I first saw that thing, it was like me, Calc, and John Long were walking by. I was, I was like looking at the rock, like, dude, there's like hold here, man. I bet you John Gill's son will be able to do this someday. And they looked at me and they're like, you're flipped, no one's ever climbing this shit, dude. And all of a sudden now it's like, it's got a butt start, you know, it's like nothing. You know, so I don't know. It's hard to say what's going, what, how good people are going to get. But yeah, you know, I, I mean, I used to do sets of five with a hundred pounds. I used to do 138 and three quarters on a two arm, and uh, I used to do 12 and a half on a one arm. But yeah, I don't know if I'll ever be able to do anything like that. I don't know how much it helps either. You know? <laughs> Why? Well, you know, I always thought on-site soloing uh, the first ascent was the, the the thing to do. You know, I thought, well, that's got to be the best thing. And I did a few of them in, in Tuolumne, um, and uh, that's that's kind of yeah, that's one of the best feeling things I've done is uh, doing a, establishing a new route on-site solo. Really hard to do though, but. Um, once in a while, when you, when you do it, it's 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 pretty good, you know. I suppose the next step would be, you know, you have to get up there naked and no shoes and chalk and all that stuff. You know? <laughs> I didn't go that far though.